Hello and welcome. My name is Babs. This is session one of your six week living with lymphedema floor yoga series. So today we're going to start with self manual lymph drainage, engage in some breath work, and then practice a seated lymphatic flow. So get into something comfortable and come and meet me on your mat. Okay, welcome to your first session. So Let's find a comfortable seat, hands to your lap, and we'll close our eyes together. And then right from the very start, let's focus our attention right to the center of our body, to our abdominal region. So this is the center of your being. Notice how you're breathing right now. Notice if you can relax the shoulders. Soften your face and your jaw. And then send a wave of gratitude to your body for joining, for being here, for showing up for yourself. It's so important that we take time for ourselves to learn, to listen, and to heal. And then place both hands over your heart. We'll set an intention together for balance. Throughout this program, we'll come back to this intention. But for the next six weeks, we'll keep focusing and keep working towards creating the most perfect balance your mind, body, and soul. And then release the hands down. And then we'll inhale to sweep the arms up, stretch the arms up towards the sky, gaze up, and then hands come down through heart center. Inhale to lift and rise. Exhale. Two more. Breath in to lift. Exhale. Last one here. Breath in, rise. Exhale. And then place the hands to your abdomen. Spread the fingers wide. And we're going to start with our diaphragmatic breathing to help stimulate our system to get moving. So as you breathe in, start to expand the belly into your hands. Imagine that belly as a balloon filling through the hands, giving a little pressure with the hands. And then exhale, draw the belly towards the spine as you release the hands and let go. Four more like this. So as you inhale, you give a little push, push, push. And then as you exhale, you allow everything to release and relax. Breath in. out, breath in, and out, two more like this, just getting this large area of our lymphatic system to get moving and get working. And then hands to the knees, keeping the eyes closed, upper body relaxed, lower body heavy. Take a big breath in for a count of one, two, three, and then exhale for one, two, three. Breath in, two, three, breath out, two, three. Continue a few 
few more moments just to harmonize in breath. When we match the inhale with the exhalation, we create a sense, a state of balance in the mind and body. Inhaling through the nose. Exhaling through the mouth. Inhale to lift the arms up, stretch the arms up. Exhale, hands come down to heart center and we'll begin our manual lymph drainage for our chest to wake up this large area. So all the fluid in the body from the legs, the arms, the back, the buttocks, the chest, all comes back into these major ducts right behind the clavicles. So we wanna clear all of this area so that it's ready for this fluid to enter there. So we'll start with our hands, cross them across the chest. If this is very uncomfortable, you can also do this one hand at a time. And flatten the hand out so you get a really good amount of surface area. And then we're gonna take half circles, so little rainbows, in towards the chest. So I'm just moving my hands up and in. And we'll do that about five to ten times. So the pressure is light. Think about just stretching the skin here. But try to get the most amount of hand contact with your skin and with your chest. My hand is right over my collarbone or clavicle. And just feel the skin stretching. Breathe and relax your face. And then come to the neck. Hands surround the neck so that the heel of the hand is connected. So I'm kind of the base of my wrists are close together. My hands are on my neck. Then stretch the skin up, back, and down. So you're stretching the skin kind of back and down and then aiming it in towards here. So it's just a gentle stretch of the skin of the neck. The pressure is light. It really just needs a little bit of pressure to stretch the skin. So this is clearing now the throat, the neck. If you have a large area lymph nodes that comes down the neck. So if you experience any face swelling, this will help a lot. And then come back to the chest, hands cross over the chest five half circles here, clearing the fluid we just entered into here. And then hands to the shoulders, and then you're gonna stretch the shoulders. So as you kind of stretch the skin of the shoulders, we're gonna move the elbows together. So we're moving up, and down. This is helping to stretch the skin of the shoulders, help those lymph nodes. And also as we do this, we're pumping through the armpits. So you can also do this one at a time, two, one hand at a time. And don't worry if it feels weird or uncomfortable if this is the first time you're doing it. I have a lot of instruction I'm going to give you and you'll get the hang of it and you'll find what really feels good for yourself. And then come back to the chest. We'll clear this. One last time, five to 10 little half circles or rainbows. As long as you're stretching your skin, you're connecting with your body, you're doing it right. So loosen and release any expectations or worries. You're doing it, just breathe. And then release the hands down, keep the eyes closed and notice if you feel any subtle lightness or change in the body. For me, after I do this, my chest, my throat feels more open, 
Maybe you notice the face muscles start to relax. Some people have told me they actually can feel the fluid starting to drain down. So depending on how in touch you are or what the sensations are telling you, And then let's inhale to reach our arms up, stretching up. Exhale, we're gonna to twist towards right for a spinal twist. So left hand to right knee, right hand becomes close to your body, behind your back, sitting up nice and tall, the breath in. And exhaling to twist. Slow breath in as you sit up tall. Slow breath out as you twist. We'll take three more breaths here. So really focus on the rinsing out, the twisting from the center of your body. And then inhale to rise back up. Exhale, twisting towards left. Right hand, outer, left thigh. Left hand close to your bottom so you can really lift through the chest and then exhale, we'll twist. Two more breaths. And then lifting up to reach the arms up and then we'll pump the arms at the top here so find a little bit of movement here so for those of us with lymphedema in the arm or swelling in the armpit or the chest getting the gravity to assist the veins to move the fluid will help to pump the lymphatic system and also that movement of the hands helps to move the muscles and then reach up spread the fingers breath in Exhale, elbows into the side ribs, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Good, inhale to lift and rise, spread the fingers. Exhale, make fists and draw the elbows into the ribs as you squeeze the shoulder. Keep going, good, breath in to lift. Exhale. Breath in, lift. Exhale. So what you're doing here is as you reach up, you're stretching the skin of the arms of the chest. And as you exhale, breathe out, you're squeezing the shoulder blades, which is pinching the lymph nodes along the spine. So getting that to filter. Three more like this. So this is an exercise, a move you can do at any point in the day, just to get everything pumping, get everything moving. Beautiful, one more. Exhale. And then lift up, reach up, and then bring your hands so that they're parallel to the ground. So thumbs facing up. Inhale, we're gonna spread our arms. Feel the stretch here through the pec, through the armpits. Stretching the arms as wide as possible here. Lift the chin, allow the heart to shine open. And then exhale, round, contract the belly as you bring hands to opposite shoulders and you tuck the chin. Big stretch for the back of the heart. Inhale, open wide, spread, feel the chest expansion. And then exhale, feel the core pulling in as you release the air out and really round through so you feel the stretch in the back. We'll take this three more times. Breathe and move, allow this to feel productive, Allow your body to open up to new experiences, new healing, and then exhale, you bring that all in for self-love and self-care. Last one here. And then hands to the thighs. We're gonna roll our body over towards one knee, center, other knee, and back and around. Maybe 
the head starts to move a little bit as you lift the chin as you come forward and you exhale round and contract notice this in the abdomen notice this in the chest in the eyebrows let your body just move in a healing and intuitive way and then reverse the circle go in the opposite direction center. Grow tall through the spine, open the chest, and then dropping the chin down towards the chest. And then slowly we'll allow the ear to fall to one shoulder, head gently falls back, ear to other shoulder. Slow and control the neck circles. So just like we did with the self megalip drainage of the skin stretching, just by stretching your neck for a few moments, by loosening up the neck that gets the lymph nodes to filter the fluid faster, releases tension, and then reverse the circle, go in the opposite direction. Notice if you're holding any tension in the face, just let it go. And then come back to center, hands to the chest, kind of right near the collarbones, and then plant the hands kind of right near the heart, and you're just gonna stretch the chin up to stretch the front of the neck here. And then back to center, we're gonna start at the base of the chin so that right here in this thumb area, you can bring that right to the neck and you're just gonna slowly start to just stretch the skin down. So this is a little practice that really helps with any nerves or any tension or anxiety. It's just a way that we can help encourage drainage, but also can have that self-soothing self-love effect. So you're just kind of dragging the hands down, getting a little bit of skin stretch, just improving the overall sensations and flow in the body. Just another moment or two here. And then hands go to opposite shoulders and then just draw the shoulders down. So you're really kind of pulling them down so you sit up nice and tall. Breathe here. And then we're gonna bring forearms together, palms together. And then we're gonna inhale to lift the arms, stretch the biceps by the ears. So you really try to grow really tall through. And then exhale, bring the elbows, the forearms back together. Inhale, lifting the arms, biceps by the ears, stretching up, beautiful. And then exhale, coming back down. So there's lymph nodes right in our cubital fossa area, our inner elbow. So the more that we can get the elbows, the biceps to fire, to pump, we can reduce fluid in the distal arm, the forearm, and the hand. One more time, breathe in to stretch up. Exhale, keep the forearms, the palms glued. Grow up nice and tall, lift through the top of the head. And then inhale, create our cactus arms. So spread the fingers wide. Start to peel the elbows back. So you feel the stretch all the way down through the arm. Inhale here, and then exhale, bringing the forearms back together as you round and surrender the head and the chest down. So similar to what we did before with the wings, but this time opening up into cactus, breath in, and then exhale, breath in, 
exhale and really notice if you can round and bring your forehead almost to your forearms three more times feel the strength of the arms being built here more muscle strength in the arms allows for more contraction allows for more lymphatic fluid movement last time here and then release the hands down notice the sensations in the arms notice the sensations in the body feel the energy moving through you And then start to release and relax. And then nice and slow, we'll make our way down onto our mat. So either you can stay here in a seated position for our last few moments of meditation together, or you can get comfortable and lay down on your mat. It might feel good if you place the bolster underneath your knees, maybe grab a blanket to put over you, maybe something for your eyes. Find a nice and comfortable position where you can feel completely supported, held, understood. Allow your arms to rest wherever they may feel relaxed. So try palms facing up. If you're laying on the floor, this allows for the shoulders to open. Maybe tuck the chin in slightly so you elongate the very first part of your spine there. And then notice every point of contact your body is making with the earth. If you're in a seated position, do you feel your bottom, the feet? Maybe your hands. If you're in a supine laying down position, can you feel the heels, the bottom, the shoulder blades, tops of head, backs of hands. And then as you're here, accept yourself for as you're here. Accept yourself for the person, the body, the mind, the soul that is present right here. Find that wave of gratitude that comes over you with a sense of love and warmth and joy that you have now just begun a journey of true healing of support, of guidance. Feel yourself heavy here, back body fully supported, but feel how open your chest and your heart can be. a sense of confidence flow through you that you are on the right path that you are able to manage and live with lymphedema with swelling with discomfort that you are in the driver's seat. You have now taken over control and you are now on a journey to listen, to respond, and to heal what feels broken. You now have the power
knowing that you are now taking control. I will be here to support you, but you are the one who will make the difference and make the change in your mind and body. Take a big breath in through your nose. Sigh it out. Another breath in. Sigh it out. Feel the warmth, the love. And then on your next breath in, start to come back to a movement space. So wiggling the fingers, wiggling the toes. pointing the toes, reaching your arms up, and then exhale if you're laying down, draw the knees into your chest and lay on one side, and if you're seated, just stay here, and then keeping the eyes closed, slowly make your way to a seated position where we began our practice. Move mindfully, move slowly. we can engage our parasympathetic nervous system, our rest and digest will allow for healing day by day. Once you arrive in a seated position, we'll inhale, reach our arms up, palms meet, and then bring your thumbs to your forehead or your third eye, connecting mind to body, creating this balance Give yourself a little gentle massage with the thumb knuckles to the forehead. Release that tension mind. You got this. And then bring the thumbs to the sternum or the heart. Give yourself a little massage here. And then we can bow to one another to share our gratitude for one another, for one another's energy and this journey that we're starting together. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you.